Hi everybody, so I just found out about this amazing new tool that I had to tell you about right now. So I've made the screencast. And so everybody knows about copying and pasting text on the web. You find some text on the web from an article or a website and you just copy it and you paste it into your own document or graphic. Well, one of the most frustrating things is when you find text that's in an image. It's a JPEG or a GIF or something like that, and it's impossible usually to copy text that's in an image and paste it into your document. So probably you, everybody has had experiences like that. Well, there's this new thing called Project Naptha, and it's by a person who has been experimenting and you know, trying to write code so that you can actually start to copy text from an image and paste it into your own document. And he, they've just released it, and it's an extension for Chrome. Um, I think maybe you can use it with other browsers, but why would you use another browser besides Chrome? Uh, anyway, so it'll just sit up in your browser, and you can then use it in any image that you find on the web. So if you want to check it out, go to projectnapfa.com, and this is what it looks like. And it's cool because the whole website is uh, an interactive ex um, example so that you can see how it works. And I'll show you here. So let's say you've got this cool image that you found on the web, but it's a .jpg or something, and you can't normally just copy and paste the text in here. So you can actually put your cursor and highlight a chunk of text, just like you would in a regular web article that you would find. Um, so here you go, and then you right click on it, and you can copy the text, and then you go to your document, <clears throat> and you paste it with, without the image, right? So you're not copying the image, you're just copying the text. So the code he's written has worked to identify um, text that is in an image. So that's really cool. It can also do different things. So let's highlight that same chunk of text. You can copy, of course. You can even <clears throat> translate. Um, so translation, let's say I want it in Chinese Simplified. Amazing. So this is in an image, and it actually translates um, the, gra the text in an image to other languages. Or you could do it from another language back to English, of course. Um, so I can then translate it back again. So no translation. Something else you can do with this is you can erase text. So let's say you've got a really cool image, and there's a better one down here that I'll show you. Um, so this is kind of a little animated GIF that will show you kind of how it works. Um, so yeah, it works with PDFs. So usually you can't copy and paste from PDF. Now you can. And you can erase text in a PDF. So right click. To erase text, you have to go to translate. So that's kind of weird, but you go to translate and then you click erase text. Amazing. Um, also, there's another one here. So like this guy, or there's there's a funny one down here. Of a, okay. So again, you just put your cursor, highlight, <clears throat> translate, erase text. Um, I think those were kind of the main things. So here's the example of translation. Um, so originally when I first looked at this, this, it was in Russian. So translate, English, and there you go. So I think this has so much potential and has so many uses. Um, and also, so they have an example, let's say you've got a cool diagram but you really want to look for something like a label in the diagram. Instead of retyping whatever the label is, you just select it, copy, and then you can, whoops, it still has my um, William Blake poem in there, but anyway. So I copied the William Blake verse, and there it is in, in Google. So really cool. I highly